In the news tonight, Venezuela has proved to be nothing but a regional bully, says opposition leader Orby Norton. And I say that and will qualify it a regional bully of small states. And Guyana ready to defend its case at the ICJ on Venezuela's planned referendum, says Carl Greenwich. <music> Guyana continues to push back against Venezuela's illegal claims to the Escriba region. During an extraordinary sitting of the National Assembly, opposition leader Orby Norton said Venezuela has proven to be nothing but a regional bully. That Venezuela has proved to be nothing but a regional bully. And I say that and will qualify it a regional bully of small states. The opposition leader also cautioned the Foreign Affairs Minister Yu Todd that given Venezuela's posture, the border controversy may not end with a ruling in Guyana's favor at the International Court of Justice. We cannot concede an inch to Venezuela. They have always come up with some backdoor means to get at our territory. We must see Venezuela as an adversary that wants our territory. We must remember that Venezuela always comes up with some scheme to get our territory. We have to be ever vigilant. Is it in this context I want to say to the Minister of Foreign Affairs that you close by suggesting that the ruling of the ICJ will end Venezuela's aggression. I want to caution, if one follows the history of Venezuela, that is not likely possible. In fact, if one looks at what is happening, one sees that Venezuela is preparing the pitch to be able to say, mm -mm, we accept it. So we have to now look at the options. We have to be careful not to create a false mood that Venezuela, that once the ruling comes, Venezuelan aggression will end. I just think it might take different forms. Norton, however, said there needs to be a more robust and aggressive foreign policy to deal with the issue. That we are dealing with a dangerous and sinister enemy in the form of the Venezuelan state. And we will have to take measures not only to defend our territorial integrity and sovereignty, but also our place in the Latin, and America, Latin America and Caribbean region. We need to hurtle to take action to do that. Clearly, there is a need for a more robust and aggressive foreign policy vis-a-vis -vis Latin America and the Caribbean. The guy in the Venezuela border controversy is currently engaged in the International Court of Justice. Washi. Hi, people. Washing made so easy since I found Washi. Washi me use, wash me clothes, and I can say. Wash is so powder, wash clothes so nice. Wash is so powder, leave your clothes color bright. Wash is so powder, leave me clothes smelling nice, of course. So give thanks to Wash is so powder for doing my laundry in right. Keep my clothes color bright. Have me clothes smelling nice for sure. I could not ask for more. Comes in lemon and original. It is a washing machine in a pack. Wash is so powder, wash clothes so nice. Wash is so powder, leave your clothes color bright. Wash is so powder, have my clothes smelling nice, of course. Distributors located in the Starbrook market. What are you doing? Ice cream, you know it's good. Inside Anshul, I'm the manager over here at Brooklyn Institute of Vocational Training. We provide home health tech training here. For that, we have flexible classes, which includes morning, evening, and the weekend class. You can choose any class, whichever is convenient for you. Also, this career is now at the peak. This career pay rate increases from 1909 till up to 2109 now. I speak different languages which includes Hindi, Punjabi, Urdu, Bangla and our certificate is recognized all over the New York because we are licensed from Board of Education. Once you graduated from our school, you can work with any agency anywhere in New York. 
Our address is 110-05 Liberty Avenue, Queens. Guys, I know the name is Brooklyn Institute, but we are located in Queens. I repeat the address 110-05 Liberty Avenue, Queens. 11419 is our zip code and my number is 929-386-0092 if you have any questions you can always call me and I'm, I will be happy to answer all your questions uh, don't forget to check our website www.mybrooklyninstitute.com come join our school and get home health aid certificate as we like to believe changing lives one student at a time Public Service Cooperative Credit Union Make My Wish Come Through Christmas promotion is here. What are you wishing for this Christmas? It's another exciting Christmas promotion designed with you, our members, in mind. This Christmas, you can win big household appliances ranging from a fridge, washing machine, gas cooker, dining table, television sets, and much, much more. Here's how you can be a part of our Christmas promotion. You must be a member of the credit union in good standing. You must have an existing loan or must have taken your first loan with the credit union. You must fill out a coupon with your information clearly marked. Coupons for this promotion can be uplifted from our head office at Lot 45 Hatfield Street, Georgetown or from any one of our regional representatives countrywide. Promotion runs from October 30th to December 15th, 2023. What are you wishing for this Christmas? GPS CCU, people helping people. stands ready to defend its case before the International Court of Justice when it comes to blocking Venezuela from including any questions in its December 3rd referendum in relation to the border controversy that will have an impact on Guyana's territorial integrity and sovereignty. That is according to Carl Greenwich, Guyana's co-agent on the border controversy to address the 1899 arbitral award engaging the International Court of Justice. During an interview on Monday, the former Foreign Affairs Minister said Guyana has no intention of blocking Venezuela's referendum, but that it has concerns with the questions that may have an impact on Guyana. Then there is a process, and that process is not a unilateral process. That is, that is the issue. That's what's before the court. Court is being asked uh, not so much to stop them having a referendum, but to ensure that they know and, and to ensure that the referendum doesn't have provisions which give the Venezuelan public the mistaken belief that they have the right to decide on other citizens' faith, citizens outside of the borders of Venezuela in defiance of world opinion, in defiance of world practice, and in defiance of the obligations that Venezuela has as a signatory to agreements that still exist. Greenwich, a former vice president under the AP and UFC coalition administration, said records are there to show that Venezuela has acknowledged its border with Guyana, as outlined in the 1899 arbitral award. We have a situation in which there is no disagreement, not merely about the land territory, which is what happened in 62, disagreement over the maritime zone, which was arising in 68 and now uh, followed by a whole series of, um, of uh, presidential decrees which are illegal internationally. We, we are disagreeing over the provisions of the Geneva Agreement. Things are being said that are in the Geneva Agreement which nobody else has been able to find. Nobody out of Venezuela can find reference to these things in the Geneva Agreement. And we find 
that there are allegations or there are statements about fictional military bases. He explained that Venezuela's built-up of troops at the border and its upcoming referendum could be viewed as acts of threats and aggression against Guyana. Referendum, as is usually these things, is part of a scenario. In other words, maybe if it were the referendum alone, it would be bad enough. Bad enough. But if you look at what has been happening uh, over the last few months, you will find that the referendum is one of many things that uh, we are concerned about. And included amongst those things is the um, uh, arrangements being made on the Venezuelan side, along with very hostile language for uh, movement of troops on our borders, uh, actions which affect the uh, stability and also the um, well-being of Guyanese, especially those in the areas bordering uh, Venezuela, in the northwest, northeast in particular. Um, and that is one part of the background. As regards the, the, the referendum itself, the point is, in normal circumstances, one couldn't give a hoot what another country decides to do by way of a referendum. But it, a referendum is a little, by, little bit like the exercise of freedom. Your right to do and say things ends very close to me if, those, uh, if the exercise of those rights affect me. On Monday, Guyana's politicians in the National Assembly stood united in their rejection of Venezuela's claims to the Esuquiba region, which represents two-thirds of Guyana. And taste you will never decline. Citrus, citrus, Extra lemon and lime. It's the two combined. Citrus, citrus, it's one of a kind. Citrus, citrus, Extra lemon and lime. Extra lemon and lime. Taste the citrus in every sip. Say goodbye to germs with a free Sterling Super Soap automatic dispenser. That's right. Get free equipment and installation of our touch free dispenser. The perfect amount of soap every time ensures clean and germ-free hands. Refilling is quick and easy with four amazing fragrances. Coconut, Sunflower Sunrise, Pink Blossom and Citrus Zest. Call us on Cooperative Credit Union Make My Wish Come Through Christmas promotion is here. What are you wishing for this Christmas? It's another exciting Christmas promotion designed with you, our members, in mind. This Christmas, you can win big household appliances ranging from a fridge, washing machine, gas cooker, dining table, television sets, and much, much more. Here's how you can be a part of our Christmas promotion. You must be a member of the credit union in good standing. You must have an existing loan or must have taken your first loan with the credit union. You must fill out a coupon with your information clearly marked. 
Coupons for this promotion can be uplifted from our head office at Lot 45 Hatfield Street, Georgetown, or from any one of our regional representatives countrywide. Promotion runs from October 30th to December 15, 2023. What are you wishing for this Christmas? GPS CCU, people helping people. <laughs> Prime Minister Mark Phillips addressing the National Assembly on Monday during the extraordinary sitting to address Venezuela's illegal claims to the Esquiba region, said Guyana firmly rejects Venezuela's persistence to undermine our nation's sovereignty and integrity. The stubborn and malicious persistence of Venezuela towards Guyana's territory as seen the international community represented by numerous nations around the world voicing their unequivocal support for our cause. The Prime Minister said Guyana remains steadfast in upholding the sanctity of its sovereign borders and the principles governing international relations. Mr. Speaker, we call upon the international community to continue their support for our just cause. We urge all nations to recognize that this issue transcends a bilateral dispute. It's about upholding the international legal order and the principles that bind us. It's about ensuring that justice triumphs over aggression and intimidation. With the border controversy before the International Court of Justice, Guyana again went to the court to address several questions to be answered by Venezuelans in its December 3rd referendum. For these and other stories, do visit us at our website www.rdproductiongy.com.